start. Started out, that is, with a little bit of cloudiness uh, here in central and eastern Kentucky. And that stuck around for the better part of the afternoon. A little mid to upper level wave kind of teases with a bit of light rain and sprinkles. But we've got more legitimate chances as the week wears on. Unseasonably warm through the day tomorrow. But the rain and storms this time around, they're finally going to return. It's been a while for the mid to late week. And we will need every drop of that considering how dry it has been of late because that dry pattern is going to quickly return just in time for the upcoming weekend as we wrap up the month of September. Our Max HD radar and satellite, you can see that cloud line. It's about up to Moorhead eastward, still in the clouds farther west here in the bluegrass and out west. Full sunshine, and that has allowed temperatures to recover nicely mid to late afternoon. Our bluegrass pace care is Sky VHC camera network, Richmond EKU, nice 81. We've got an east to northeast wind. Pleasant breeze at 5 to 10. Boy, look at the difference in temperature. 68 under the clouds in Moorhead, low to mid 70s, Jackson Hazard, elsewhere into the lower 80s. Dew points not off the charts, but obviously uh, high enough and enough moisture around to produce a few of those light showers. But big difference between where it's overcast, mid to upper 60s, Ohio and West Virginia, and sunny mid to upper 80s back across parts of western Kentucky, Illinois, and out into the Missouri River Valley. That little wave moving out, next area of low pressure. It will be a slow mover, so we're really not going to feel any effects from that until probably tomorrow night, and then it will take a while to get through here Wednesday and Thursday. Not a bad thing. Good evening to come. Quiet morning tomorrow, upper 50s, and then with a good bit of sunshine around, even with an easterly breeze, albeit light, temperatures will surge into the mid 80s here in the bluegrass, probably low 80s down south. And you notice a few isolated storms developing. Yeah, we'll see some storms this go around. Notice how the muggy meter is actually going to jump up a little bit, especially Wednesday and Thursday out ahead of that system. We'll stay to the south of the boundary, so the low will spin through, and that is going to mean occasional rain and storms both Wednesday and into Thursday as well. Very much needed, very welcome. Of course, with the clouds and the rain around mid to upper 70s will do it. Uh, Futurecast here actually paint some decent rainfall totals, maybe upwards of a half inch to an inch. To get underneath a heavier downpour from a thunderstorm, localized areas could see a little more than that. Rain should be winding down by really Friday morning, some scattered clouds, especially east and south. But notice by the time we hit Saturday and the weekend, we are back in the sunshine, back in the warm air. Drought monitor. Now, the next measurement for this week will be tomorrow, and then it comes out Thursday. That's before any rain falls. So the yellow abnormally dried, those spots, those locations could actually end up being into the moderate drought. And while we need every drop of that rain getting into Wednesday and Thursday, check out the outlook for the beginning part of October. That swath of drier than normal it's right across the heart of the bluegrass, eastern Kentucky as well. So we may see another extended stretch with not any rainfall possible after Wednesday and Thursday. Mostly clear, pleasant tonight. Of course, another nice evening to come as well. 84 tomorrow, so warm. Remember our average highs are in the upper 70s. Extended forecast here beyond the rain and storms Wednesday, Thursday. Looking good this weekend. Of course, huge game with Kentucky and Florida out of Kroger Field noon on Saturday. Hydrate, take the sunscreen. Yeah, for the final day of September, it will be a bit warm with low to mid 80s. And of course, we're going to stay unseasonably warm to kick off October with highs into the mid 80s into early next week.